What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day on taking a risk. We're here for part two of the Orlando Science Center and there's so much more to discover and explore. So smash that thumbs up button and let's get to it. All right, so today we're starting on the second floor and I noticed something that I had to show you guys. Check this out. These trees that I thought were real are no longer looking real to me. I'm not sure, but check it out what I found at the top that we didn't notice before. There's a bird in a nest. How cool is that? But I love that they added the realistic woodpecker holes that don't honestly look that realistic anymore. But these are beautiful trees and there's something at the top of that one that I can't really make out. It almost looks like a turtle. I don't know what a turtle would be doing up there. They got flying turtles in this place. Still very cool, very entertaining. I love that they show this side of nature. The kids love it, I know they do. All right, the kids already beat me in here, but we're going places. That's where we're starting today. And this is only running from January 21st to May 5th. So if you are planning a trip to Orlando, make sure you plan accordingly because you might miss this super duper cool area that I'm about to show you. We are going places. So this is all about transportation. So right here, you've got your security transport. If you were going through security at an airport, you put your boxes in there, of course. It just shows a demonstration of what it could look like. You got a gnome in there. The kids are having a lot of fun pushing it through there. And actually, I think I'm gonna take a ride through there since there's not that many people. I'm just gonna go ahead and hop on here and take a trip in. You guys get to join me. All right, and we're out the other side. <laughs> that was so cool. And look at this, they can then take their luggage and try to fit it into the back of this tiny little sports car. And it also teaches them how they should load it so that they're making sure to load properly, not putting too much weight on one side. Other than that, you've got this really cool blimp area over here that you can actually control. You can see the kid on the other side, he's at that control panel. I'm at number two and look at this. It's just like controlling a drone. It's got three little propellers. I'm making it go up. Now it's time to make it go forward. Maybe. That actually turns it. We're stuck on the wall, so let's go down just a little bit. Yeah, I'm turning it the wrong way. There we go, let's see if we can fly it clear across to the other side. Just gotta turn it the right way. And now, we're off. Uh-oh. Got blimps hitting each other. There we go, after much finagling, I finally figured out the controls. Uh-oh, we're veering that way now. Uh-oh, maybe I didn't figure out the controls. It's a lot harder than it looks. It's not as responsive as I'd like it to be. It's still pretty fun and entertaining trying to get, get it to go the way you want it to. Oh man, it just wants to attack that other one so bad. <laughs> Check this out, they have displays about motors and I gotta figure out how to turn it back to English, uh-oh. Just the home button. All right, there we go. It was easy as just hitting that home button right there and it teaches you all about engines. They can learn about the head, the block, the chambers, the overhead, and the pistons. Check it out, they have a virtual reality drone operator. How cool is that? And this thing is a lot harder than it looks. So many people have tried and have crashed. So what is it like flying a drone? They can use them for surveillance, just search and rescue missions and stuff like that. But here we go, we're gonna go, oh, we need to go up first. That's down, there we go. It's a lot harder than it looks. I have a little bit of experience flying a drone. Oh wow, this thing is very responsive. There's a nice, decent height. Now let's go forward fly over these buildings that are changing colors. That'd be cool in a real world. I wonder if we can go up to these mountains over here. Check out these paths. This is like a big train station area, so it's weird that they have a drone here. But, see if we can keep going up. I think we've reached our limit. That is the beginner's flight limit. But, we can always fly this way. I don't think we'll make it all the way over there before this thing resets. Still very fun and very interactive. Check this out, they give you an idea, a virtual feel of what it's like to control the road as a bicyclist. Very cool, hopefully there's no cars on this road. Look at that, they have a flight simulator as well, and this is one cool looking plane. It's very old in my opinion, but maybe this is what crop dusters look like today, I'm not sure, but that's pretty cool that you can actually fly this thing. And once again, just like with the car, they teach you the different parts of the instruments and the parts of the plane. 
go looking at the back propeller flight simulators there's a video courtesy of nasa of rockets i'm sure rockets and airplanes have a lot in common and video number two courtesy of red bull oh yeah this actually does look like a red bull plane now that i'm thinking about it and those are some very intense flying skills Jackson's over here at Electric Avenue and he wants to show us about plasma. Wow, look at you controlling electricity. How awesome is that? And they have several other stations here as well. Ooh, I wonder what this one is. The crackle tube. Let's press it. Oh, wow, that is so cool. Can you control it? Yeah, look at that. It's conducted to your finger. How awesome. I am the god of lightning. You are Thor, your beautiful golden locks. All right, now we're in the pulley chair area and look at how happy she is that nobody can pull her. There's some kind of field trip going on right now, but there you go. You got this, honey. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Look at how easy she makes it look. You are so strong. Nice job, Jane. Now swing down. All right, there is still so much more to see and do here. You could build cars, you could build those little flight simulator things out of the paper. You can see Evelyn trying right there. Also over here, there's some air equipment that you could work with and learn how air can push up balls. It's so cool, look at that one go. Over here, the balance challenge. You're actually supposed to take a little wheel and put two buckets on the side and try to balance it all the way down. You've got your rotator and your virtual forces over here. There's Electric Avenue again. Nobody was able to balance their things right. I'm not sure what this ring launcher does. I didn't get to see anybody play with it, but it looks interesting. There is so much to do, so much to see here at this wonderful area. What did you think about this area? Amazing, so amazing he doesn't want to leave. There was so much to see, so much to do here, and so much to play with. And I learned so much about stuff moving. Did you? Heck yeah, and you guys couldn't sit still. You guys just kept moving. You guys are going places. Look at this, we were just walking by. There's a green area over there that you can actually walk through, but you have to do it from the first floor and there's lots of more animals to see and do. But we just saw this sign for the homeschool program. It's that way. We might join that later on. Yeah. All right, so what did we find? The Gothic Arch. This is the Gothic Arch and they're called buttresses. <laughs> is that a funny name? Yeah. Let's be mature about it though, okay? All right, show us what it does. So stand the arch, the four hinged wooden blocks of this thing in the middle. You got to stand that up. You got to push this all the way up, okay? But you see how it's unbalanced and it wants to keep falling in? Yeah. Now you got to move those ones in. And those are called the buttresses because they butt up against it. And now, look at that, perfectly balanced. You can push on this and it won't go nowhere. Of course, if you push really hard, it'll flop out, but that's how it keeps all of this balanced. The Gothic arch, the curve of the arches causes gravity force to push the legs outward. The R-shaped blocks called the flying buttresses are half arches. They push inward and balance the main arch. Super duper cool. Almost looks like a rocket ship, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Hmm, the Gothic rocket. Next up in the interactive uh, area, we got an arch bridge. All right, so what makes an arch bridge strong? Slide each of the six blocks into the slots with the smallest in the center. We've got the smallest in the center. Then we've got the biggest at the end. So let's see if the drawbridge holds up. All right, slide them in. There you go, that's nice. All right, but let's check it before. Yeah, that's kind of wobbly. We don't want wobbly. There you go, you're doing a great job. Ooh, does that not fit? Uh-oh. Ooh, okay, okay, so that one fit. Are you gonna get this one to fit? Uh-oh, we need that support, buddy. Oh, that's a good idea. Take the small one out, see if we can get this medium one to fit. But still nothing, huh? Let me see if I can do it with the old dad magic. Oh, wow, that's a tight fit, but we got it in. Oh yeah, that's 100% gonna hold. All right, let's get that little one back in there. It's a little loose now, huh? Uh-oh, that's real loose now. All right, let's try those big ones on the end. I think this bridge is gonna hold. All right, you need some more dad magic, huh? All right, this has been played with so many times that it might need a, a new calibration. The architect has to come back in to redevelop and redesign. All right, we're gonna see if it holds anyways. Yeah, look at that, it holds. All right, so we're back in the explored area and yes, he's over there building one heck of a roller coaster. Look at that, I actually built this one and it works so flawlessly. Too bad there's no way to get a good return. But check out this wall over here. Everybody was tapping on it and trying to figure out how to get this thing to work because I thought it was pegs originally, but look at this, you spin them. Okay, not that one. This one, there we go, you spin them and the color changes. Neat. 
it would take forever to try and write something cool in there, especially like taking a risk, subscribe or something like that. That would take forever. Evelyn's over here using the uh, blower tubes. You gotta shove, shove, shove your little cloth in there. Just doing two at a time, then you gotta watch it fast because these things go quick. I can't wait for them to finally figure out how for us to travel by air tubes. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Pew, pew. Is she gonna catch him? Of course she is. You're out of there, great job. All right, we're over here at the Grab and Go, the Four Roots Cafe, and look at this wall that Jackson found. This is one of the coolest. I want one of these in our RV. It shows you the different types of fruits, what stems off of a fruit. Where's the vegetables? I see a vegetable sign right here, and that shows you everything that stems off of vegetables. Oh, there's more vegetables. Sea vegetables, root vegetables, stalks, sprouts, pods and legumes, flowers. How amazing is that? And look, for anybody that's ever wondered, cucumbers are fruits. There it is right there, the cucumber. All right, so it turns out we were actually just a little bit too late. They stopped serving any form of protein right now. We were able to get like salads and stuff like that, but we ended up getting a sub that they already had pre-made. So we didn't get to explore the entire menu or get something super duper filling, but the kids wanted to go play again. So they're already on their way. I got left with Baron because he was having an issue. Hi, buddy. I know I'm taking care of you. But we're going back up to the third floor and we're going to explore some new stuff. All right, so something that I noticed outside that I've been wanting to explore is that tiny house. And I just found out that it's a tiny green home. So how cool. We're definitely going to have to explore that before we leave today. All right, so we're in the elevator and check this out. Third floor. You can actually see the animals from in here. How cool is that? And there is two elevators in this building. And I don't know if we've ridden this one. I think the kids have. This is the first time I've actually been on the elevator. I've been taking the stairs. How neat is that? All right, so we made it over to the third floor, but we're finding out that only eight-year-olds or older are allowed to actually participate in the area over here. It's called The Hive, and it's a maker's workspace. So I think the girls and mom are gonna head back down to the second floor and play in the kids and toddler zone, and me and Jackson are gonna go in here and explore a little bit. All right, so in this area, you're actually planning a production. Are you excited to do that? So look, the first step is to do a storyboard and then you're gonna move on and do some green screen stuff and you're actually gonna be uh, filming a minute video to take home. So we're gonna get to it. All right, Jackson did it. What did you come up with? A boy. That's me. Yeah, that's you. That's he wakes up and he thinks about building a rocket. So then he asks his parents and his parents say yes. Of course we would. Why wouldn't we let you build a rocket? This is the story, the origin story of Elon Musk as well. Then he realizes he doesn't have the material. Oh no! So he goes to the shop, buys all this. And that's a rich and kid. It's got to be Elon Musk. And look at that! The rocket and, turns into <laughs> and a rocket he flies, and flies to down. the cracker. I love it. Oh, the moon! The moon! The moon is usually cheese. Did you know that? People associate the moon as cheese. cheese I'm crackers. so excited for you to get this done. And then look, they've got green screens where you can actually film it, which I know I showed you guys already. But I'd love to see this come to life. So let's get to it. All right, so she's explaining to him so how this works. Have, he only has $10. Yeah, so you have $10 that you can spend, and that is your movie budget. You can spend a dollar and get six inches of tape. You can spend a dollar and get five toothpicks or five rubber bands. You can get three postcards. So One cardboard square. So the cardboard square right, is going to look it. like this. You want one of those? Oh, man. All right, so that's going to be $3. What else would you like? I'm going to make sure you can... One balloon. Cool. Would you right. like a five dollars? Does that work? Okay. Oh yeah, that's so right. That'll be five dollars total. Some tape. Some tape or some string. Both. Both. Okay. I'll get you six inches of tape and six inches of string. You are now at seven dollars. You have three dollars left. Hmm. Hmm. Five toothpicks. And five toothpicks. What are you gonna All do right. with the toothpicks? You will have two dollars left, but you can take your change here and start building and then if you realize you need something else you can always come back okay? that's a great idea all right good job there is your tape all right and you pretty much just did step number four in your storyboard you went to the shop and got your props absolutely nice job kiddo all right so jackson ran to the bathroom i'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek we are in the middle of building his stuff and i wanted to show you oh wow he's already back already but i wanted to show you the other area that they have here they have a 3d printer that you can actually do stuff with and I don't know if we have time. Oh my goodness, look at that little Bulbasaur. That is awesome. This is such a cool area. Oh, there's another one right here. 
I wonder, we'll have to ask the lady. Oh, wow, they have a lot of 3D printers. How interesting. This is so cool. This definitely does take a lot of time though, so make sure you plan accordingly if you are gonna come here and do something like this. All right, so Jackson, I just got done doing our video and there's the green screen we used. That was so much fun. Hopefully we'll be able to edit it and put it at the end of this. That would be great. Uh, she's getting it airdropped now to the Honey's phone because I don't have an iPhone. I only have Android, of course. The one time it doesn't come in useful. That was so much fun. Hopefully we'll get to do it again. You guys will get to see the results. Hey, I want to know the rocket. You want to know the rocket? That sounds like a wonderful idea. Here's some money. Go to the rocket store. Yay, a rocket store. I'm a rocket store thing. Whoa, what is this? Huh, it's a postcard from my son on the moon. Look at this, it's on the 